What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Reward Giant. Today, I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown Live review and results. So, you guys know, give me that thumbs up and let's get started. SmackDown Live was way better than Monday Night Raw. So, that's all I got to say. That's just my opinion. But let me let, let me just say this that um, the in ring segment with Randy Orton. This in ring segment was good. I really enjoyed it. That's all I got to say. So, in ring segment with Randy Orton was good. And it says, um, Randy, uh, it says, in ring semi with Randy Orton. Randy Orton says he isn't like Kofi Kingston. Orton isn't, isn't a liar. Kingston ran away from a fight in front of his wife and his family. Kofi ran. Kingston is stupid. Orton enjoyed making Kingston watch as, uh, watch as the revival shattered. Xavier Woods leg every time. Orton gives Kingston a chance, but Kingston fails. New Day music hits, but no one comes out. Orton turns Orton turns around and Kingston blasts him with, with trouble in paradise. Kingston grabs a chair and places Orton's leg in it. Kingston goes up goes up top, but before he can crush Orton's leg, the revival makes the save. Kingston lays out Dawson and Wilder with a chair. Orton shatters Slater's out of the ring. Did that segment was good. I really enjoyed it. The King of the The King The King of the Ring Round One. Adrande with Selena Vega versus Apollo Cruz. Now this match was good. That's all I gotta say. This match was good. It says the winner of the match, Adrande. Andrade advanced to the semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament. Backstage, Rowan, Eric Rowan and Brian attack Buddy Murphy. Brian yells that Buddy Murphy is a coward and a liar. And a liar. The revival versus Heavy Machinery. Um, this match was decent. After after a brief back and forth, Dawson and Wilder gets the win after a roll up. After a roll the winner of the match, the revival. Backstage, we see Chad Gable says his life works works led him here. Shelton Benjamin sneaks out of the locker room and and put a sign put it put on the door that says you had to be in this you have to be this tall to participate in the king of in, in the king of the ring. That segment just wow. That's all I can say. The King King of the Ring round one. Kevin Owens versus Elias. This match was not that bad, I believe. This match was not that bad. So it says the winner of the match, Elias. Elias advances to the semifinals of of the King of the Tournament. Um uh, backstage um Backstage, Brian reveals the person who attacked Reigns. When Brian removes the hood, the person in the chair resembles Rowan. Reigns is confused, and so am I. Okay. Um, I don't know how that works, but um, but that was just weird. But um, it is what it's near. So I just want to say, where is it? SmackDown Live recap. Um, number one, Adrane versus Adrane defeated Apollo Cruz. That was the first match of the night. Then Buddy Murphy defeated Daniel Bryan. That's number two. Number three, the Revival defeated Heavy Machinery. Number four, Elias defeats Kevin Owens. Then what I saw on SmackDown Live tonight. It's Kevin Owens was looking for Shane McMahon. I didn't really care about that that segment. That's all I gotta say from there. But the moment of bliss was just garbage. Moment of bliss was just garbage. And um and I also see the Miz TV. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why we keep having Miz TV every week on SmackDown Live. That's all I gotta say from there. It says Roman Reigns walks in to Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, and Eric Rowan's locker room, where they have a guy sitting under the black sheet. Bryan 
says they found the guy who nearly ended Roman Reigns' career. Brian pulls the sheet off of him to the to reveal a guy with a shaved head and red beard who looks kind of like Rowan. Rowan and the mysterious guy both look at Roman, and Roman looks confused as SmackDown Live goes off the air. Now, for my opinion, SmackDown Live was way better than Raw. SmackDown Live was a way better show than Monday Night Raw. Um, it has some ups and downs, but I had to give, but I had to um, give credit for what credit is due. Uh, my favorite part was my, my favorite part on SmackDown Live was Randy and Ring segment with Randy Orton. You know what I'm saying? Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston, exchange words. You know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed that. Um, it really told a story on SmackDown Live. That's all I got to say from there. And, um, oh yeah, what else happened on SmackDown Live? It says the King of the Ring tournament. I know we had the King of the Ring tournament. So, um, I really enjoyed the King of the Ring tournament. But I also don't care about the 24-7 champion. I don't really care about the 24-7 champion. That's all I got to say from there. Um, it is what it is from there. So, um, that's just my favorite part of SmackDown Live. You know what I'm saying? Um, was it better than Monday Night Raw? Yes, it was. But, um, Smack, by far, SmackDown Live was not a bad show. Was SmackDown Live way better than Monday Night Raw? Yes, it was. Um, that's all I got to say from there. But my favorite part was Randy Orton. Yeah, Henry Semi was my favorite part with Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston. And then all of a sudden, um, it went from there. Like, um, the matches were good. The matches were good. You know what I'm saying? But that one, but except for that moment of bliss was garbage. Moment of bliss is always garbage. I don't even know why Nikki crosses with Alexa Bliss in the first place. But that, but that just stated my own thoughts, my opinion. But um, but SmackDown Live did a good job tonight. SmackDown Live did a good job tonight. Was it better than Monday Night Raw? Yes, it was. That just my own thoughts, my opinion. So let me recap one more time. Um, in ring segment was good. I really liked that because that in ring segment between Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston really told a story. They both exchanged words. Then all of a sudden we see uh um Shane we see Daniel Daniel Bryan yeah Daniel Bryan Eric Rowan attack Buddy Murphy um I guess for no reason he then Daniel Bryan yells out Buddy Murphy is a coward and a liar so Buddy Murphy the had a match with Daniel Bryan that match was good I don't care what nobody say that match was good Buddy Murphy defeated Daniel Bryan. That's all I got to say from there. Then, um, what else happened on SmackDown Live? Um, the 24-7 champion. I just don't really care about that. That championship was just worthless at this point. But, um, other than that, the moment of bliss. Oh, my God. That moment of bliss was just so god-awful. It's like it's... What's the moment of bliss is just god-awful. You know what I'm saying? That's all... That, that's that's the part that we really, that that's that that's the part I don't like about SmackDown Live. It's moment of bliss, cause mo the moment of bliss had Bailey and Charlotte gone there. Then of course Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss were out there too. So that just my thoughts, my opinion. But other than that, SmackDown Live was good. Um, the Adron Adrian versus Apollo Cruz that match was good. What else was good? Buddy Murphy versus. Daniel Bryan, that match was good. The revival and the heavy machinery was a decent match. It didn't really, it didn't really do well for me. Between the revival versus heavy machinery, didn't really do. It was decent, but it didn't really do too well for me. Um, that's all I gotta say from there. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my my WWE SmackDown Live review and results video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think about SmackDown Live. And um, and I will see you guys later. Shout out to all my KFG family. I'm on the road to 3K. Um, that's all I got to say from here. Talk to you guys, talk to you guys later. And I'm out of here.